Today, we're going to talk about Russia's top five live performances. Number five in Russia's top five live performances is from the Grace Under Pressure tour, the medley featuring YYZ, the Temples of Syrinx, and Tom Sawyer. This is a time during Russia's, I think, their most physically gifted time. They were very precise, pinpoint playing, and their youth at the time allowed them to play all of their precise and intricate music with such precision and an incredibly high level of musicianship. And this medley exemplifies it. It's probably the best version, or one of the best versions of YYZ Live, one of the best versions, of, in my opinion, the best version of the Temples of Syrinx Live, and one of the top versions of Tom Sawyer Live. So definitely my number five pick for Russia's best live performances is from the Grace Under Pressure Tour, the medley consisting of YYZ, the Temples of Syrinx, and Tom Sawyer. Number four in Russia's top five live performances is 2112 from the Test for Echo Tour and can be heard on the different stages live release. No one ever expected that Russia was going to perform 2112 live in its entirety ever. Even when it came out in 1976, it wasn't done. But lo and behold, a Test for Echo Tour comes out and they play the whole suite one to seven, which was a delight for fans. Uh, it was tuned down a key a little bit so that Getty can sing it easier, but still it sounds fantastic. And it's definitely a performance for the ages. So number four, my top five Rush Life performances is 2112, the entire suite from the Test for Echo Tour. Number three in Rush's top five live performances is Working Man from the Time Machine Tour in Cleveland in 2011. I mean, the video is out there. There's so many reactions to that video and people cannot believe that Rush in their late 50s at the time could rock so hard. Um, that performance actually, to me, redeemed that song and actually showed, uh, Rush showed that no one can play their music better than they can. No cover band, no, no matter how young or old, could cover Rush the way Rush covers Rush. And that was an, an incredible example of musicianship at that age, how the three just rocked it out. So number three for Rush's top live performances, Working Man from the Time Machine Tour. Number two in Rush's top five live performances is Xanadu the live performance from Exit Stage Left during the Moving Pictures Tour in 1981. Uh, this is one of my favorite songs of all time of Rush, not the studio version, that one was pretty good, but the live version from Mo the Moving Pictures Tour is just a clinic on how a long piece of music can be done with such intricacy, such imagination, such energy, such diversity, such multitasking from the three members um, these guys were at their, they were at a creative peak that, and that peak lasted for many, many years. And it just showed that there was not really a three-piece band, any other three-piece band, capable of playing progressive rock or music in general, the way those three guys could. So, number two in Russia's top live performances, Xanadu from the Moving Pictures Tour, Exit Stage Left. Okay, so we're at the number one. The number one live performance by Rush is the entire R40 tour. I mean, now these guys are in their early 60s and they are still rocking out. Giddy Lee is, even though he's struggling a little bit, he's hitting pretty much all of his notes that he did when he was younger. Alex and Neil, uh, with the complexity of their music as well, were playing all of their music because they were playing songs from every record that they did, that they produced in their 40 plus year career except Power Windows was pretty much absent during R40, but they played a lot of songs from Power Windows during the previous Clockwork Angels tour, so that was taken care of. But anyway, the fact that they were able to rock the way they did at that age and still play all of that complex music and still show that only they could play their music better than anybody else. No one can cover them. Rush during the R40 tour, it was pretty much a miraculous performance. And I don't think that any band could duplicate at that age, what those guys did during the R40 tour. So my number one live performance from Rush is the entire R40 tour. So that's it. That's my top five Rush live performances. If you have other live performances that you think are be better than these or that you agree with them, you have other ones, please put them in the comments. We want to know 
Which live performances of Rush are your favorite or you think are the best?